So I was inspired to do this retweet bot sort of idea um, from a website or post I'd seen on Facebook. And I thought I would give it a go, um, apply it to an idea that I've always wanted to try and do, and that was to win, well, to win lots of competitions and to basically not cheat, but have a rather efficient way of entering as many competitions as possible. Um, and as you know, on Twitter, a lot of companies and um, businesses will have a competition where you will simply need to follow and retweet or just simply retweet or one or two other things um, to enter the competition. So uh, we could set up a bot to search for any tweet that has retweet uh, in the text in the field. And if that was discovered, we would then retweet that tweet. So before I get into this, um, there are two things you need to set up. The first one is you need to set up Tweepy. Um, I'll have a link for that down in the description of where to download it. And also we need to set up apps on Twitter. So sign into your Twitter account um, and you want to go to apps.twitter.com. Again, the link in the description if you want to click that instead. And if you don't have any apps, which you may or may not have, um, if you do, you can skip ahead of this in this video. But if you don't, I'm going to create a new app. Um, and this is where it just needs to be um, a unique name um, with a description and a website. Now, don't worry if you haven't got a website, you can just stick google.com in. So the client application field description is too short. This is a Twitter retweet bot tutorial purposes. And then client not valid for, okay, so HTTP. Okay, let's go with it now. Okay, so once your application has been created, um, what we need to do is get some keys and access tokens. Now, <clears throat> obviously these are <laughs> private to you. You shouldn't let anyone access these. And uh, whether I uh, blur these out or just regenerate the consumer key after the video is done, um, I'll decide on that, but don't worry. If you can see mine, you're not going to be able to access anything. So we've got the consumer key here and the consumer secret. So these are going to be needed in our Twitter uh, bot. And just open up the shell here just side by side. I have made um, the font bigger because I someone commented saying it was hard to see. And I would agree the original font wasn't big enough, but I've in, uh, increased it. So we should be good to go. Right. The first bit we're going to be doing is just simply setting up all the authorization for your app to access the Twitter's API. Now, none of this is particularly um, interesting or uh, can be done any different way. It's just how it's going to have to be. So the first thing we need to do, and you should have had this installed, is to import Tweepy. Okay. And then we're going to set up some the consumer keys and the consumer secret and then an access token and an access secret. So if we're setting up those as variables, we can go ahead and type consumer underscore key. And then I'm just going to go on to the next line, consumer underscore secret. And then we got the access underscore token. Oh, can spell properly. And then access underscore token underscore secret okay so we've got them set up now we need to find these uh from twitter itself so if i head back to uh, my twitter application here um, we can see we've got the consumer key the api key here so i'm going to copy this one so this is our consumer key i'm going to put it in between inverted commas just like that consumer secret well that's pretty straightforward to get the secret here copy and then if you get a big bit of space between your um, keys it is going to cause an issue so you're going to make sure that there's no spaces in between um, any of the letters or in between where the inverted commas are. 
So next up, I'm just going to put these in here so we can stick them in quicker. Next up, we've got to get the access token and the access secret. So down here, you can click create. Once that's done, we've got an access token here, which is a rather long one as well. So we're going to copy that back to it. So access token, paste, paste in quite nicely. And then access token secret, copy and paste. Okay, just make sure they're between the inverted commas. So hopefully the um, the keys we've got there, those unique keys that are unique to your account in your application um, will work. So we're gonna test that in a second uh, with a very simple test, but first we've gotta give it or hand over the authorization uh, from Tweepy to the, the Twitter API. So, tweepy auth equals tweepy dot o auth handler. So, consumer key, obviously, that's the variable we set up. Consumer secret again, funnily enough, the one we set up. Then we need to set an access token, so auth.set underscore access underscore token. And obviously you can kind of guess this is access underscore token variable and the access underscore token underscore secret variables that we set up earlier. And then we just need to set up the API to read from Tweepy. Okay. So now that's all that set up. If we were to hit save, F5 and run, well, nothing happens, but no errors come up. So that's good so far. Now we want to test whether the API is um, allowed to be accessed via obviously all the consumer uh, the secrets and keys that we've been generating and have for application. Um, so simply, I'm going to set up a variable that's just going to pull the me, sort of the details, my Twitter account from the API. So obviously we want to, uh, an output on the screen. So hopefully, give this a save, go back to my Twitter account. You can see here my name, or the Twitter name is Tutorial Spot. So if I go ahead and give this a run, so we can press F5. We can see here it's gone through, it's obviously done all the handshakes and it's happy with the keys and the secrets and it's given us, now given us access to the Twitter API as well as information such as my username and anything from there. So I can see that it has pulled my username which means we are able to use the API. So this is where we start to develop the the Twitter bot itself. The We do all the hard work in terms of the coding and then once we hit run the bot, the bot would do all the hard work of finding tweets and retweeting them. Again, isn't massively complicated, isn't massively difficult for us to do that ourselves, but at a click of a button, once you've written this, you could enter um, X number of competitions within a couple seconds. So just as it's good practice, let's set this up in a function. So define main, and then everything in here, we can just call and run um, at the end of the code. So, we need to set up a search criteria. So, simple enough, let's set up a search variable. And this is where you can play around uh, and choose any kind of keyword or term that you're looking for in tweets. So, let's just keep it simple. If I wanted to retweet anything to do with Python that has been tweeted recently, then in my search term, I want to put the keyword Python. Now, obviously, there's snakes uh, called Python, so we might get some of them tweeted. I'm just going to put code in there as well as a second search term. Now, we just need to define 
the, how many tweets we would like this bot to search for. Um, one word of caution, if you are going to be doing this and running this, there will be... Um, the Twitter will know to look out for when someone's running a bot just to continuously retweet and continuously um, do things on the platform. And you will have, at some point, a timeout. If you do too many in one go, then the website, Twitter itself, will temporarily block your access to the API. You can resolve this. Um, I think it comes up asking you to just confirm that you're not a bot or to confirm to get to continue doing it which is simple enough but as precautionary just simply just don't run this you know to run hundreds and thousands of of retweets so i'm just gonna set up um available key could just put um number bumber my bad number of tweets uh it's not a pretty variable but, but here we go and i'm just gonna set it to five so what we need to do now is the recursive part. This is where we are going to search through and depending on whether or not the search has found a tweet that contains our keywords and whether or not we've tweeted it before, then we're going to retweet it because that's the idea, that's what we want, to, want it to do. So set up a for loop. So for tweet in and this is where it gets a little bit complicated, but just follow along. It needs to be a capital. So for tweet in tweepy.cursor API search. And then the search term. Dot items. And then number of tweets. Okay, that should be correct. Yep. Uh, all we need to do is finish it off with a colon because it's a for loop try and i'll explain why in a second tweet dot retweet okay so just before we go ahead because there is some more stuff we need to do we've set up a for loop to say for tweet in tweepy.cursor api search so it's going to search with our search term uh, so we could just we could have called this uh, search underscore term and put search underscore term here just to make it a bit more clear, but that's fine as it is. And um, it's going to iterate through this number of tweets. So it's only going to pull uh, five or whatever number you choose here items. So the reason why we said twi try sorry is because there could be a, an error and we want to catch that error and prevent it from stopping. Um, or crash in our program. So once we've re retweeted it, I just want some confirmation here. So I'm just going to simply say print uh, tweet retweeted. Then this is where we now need to put in our exception. So we just sit, uh, simply put accept uh, tweepy dot tweep error as e. I just want to print the reason just in case so we can actually see what the reason was and then accept and I expect uh, stop iteration because we don't want it to carry on if there's going to be an error break so that is it that's basically it in a nutshell obviously I want to run it here so I need to invoke the um, and call upon the, the function so basically that that is it that is your uh 28 line with obviously room for expansion 28 line python program that will retweet uh tweets based on a search criteria that we have defined ourselves so python um encoding in the same tweet it's going to find them it's going to find five of them and it's going to retweet them um I will run it twice just to show you what happens when we come across an error, um, which is which is useful. So if I just drag this back over and let's see. So if I go back to my Twitter for now, let's go on my very, very few tweets here. Okay, so my last tweet, fe uh, 20th of February, uh, and you can see there's no tweet retweets there. So let's go ahead and run this program. Sorry, I just need to get up. Wow, I'll get there eventually. There we go. <laughs> Right, hit F5. So, retweeted. 
Da, 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 da. So here, this is already come across, and I might not to redo it, need to redo it now then. Um, one, two, three, four. It successfully retweeted four tweets that it found. Now, this is what's uh, quite interesting here. It said, obviously this is an error, you have already retweeted this tweet. Now, I did just show you that um, I hadn't retweeted anything before. Uh, you can see I hadn't retweeted anything. This is just any time I post a video, it gets posted to Twitter. There might have been one or two other retweets, but they, chances are, will not have appeared um, previously. So if I scroll back to the top, you can see here, you retweeted this tweet. So what hashtag program language should you learn first? Hashtag coding, hashtag Python. So there's our two keywords. It's found this tweet and retweeted it. And I know this is <laughs> repeating myself because it's dead simple and dead straightforward and it's obvious it's going to do this. But Python, hashtag Python, um, hashtag coding, retweeted. Hashtag Python, hashtag coding, retweeted, and so on and so on. So like I said, you could change this to absolutely anything you want. So if I wanted to change this to, and I'm just going to get rid of the second uh, search term. Let's say we wanted to search for anything regarding uh, Microsoft. Now, obviously, it's going to pull up quite a lot of tweets here, but it's only going to retweet the first five it comes across. So I'm just going to give this a run, save. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so no errors that time. Let's go back to Twitter. Let's just see if it catches up. If not, we'll just give it a refresh. That's fine. So you retweeted Microsoft product giving away PlayStation instead of Xbox. This is what people are focusing on. God knows what that tweet's about. Again, uh, looks like E3 information, Microsoft, something about the rise of deep learning. But again, there will be a Microsoft term in here somewhere, I believe. Emerging uh, mega trends. Ah, okay, that's interesting. Let's go on to the next one. Microsoft and Microsoft. Interested with this one since... Microsoft doesn't appear in any of the text. Interesting. But that is pretty much how to create a very, very simple Twitter retweet bot. And like I said, I first saw this and wanted to use this for entering competitions. But you could simply just use this to try and boost your social media status by uh, retweeting certain key things. And obviously you can narrow this down. Um to more specific tweets rather than just a very vague term such as Microsoft. So I'll leave the, the code in the description. I'll stick it up on a paste bin if you wish to copy it. Um, obviously minus the um, keys and the secrets, but there we go. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and enjoy the Twitter bot.